Are you kidding me right now? Look at how cute. <gasps> Good job, Cole. <laughs> I don't like any of them anymore. Wait, we've actually had a long, really tough couple of days lately. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. We're out bowling right now. I actually just went to the eye doctor too. I think my eyes are still really dilated. I can't see anything close. I can see far with my glasses. So I was telling Ken, if I don't do well, that's not, like I can't see y'all with these on. It's not my fault if I don't do well at bowling right now because I can't see very well. But I want to go ahead and start a new vlog since we're out and about. This will probably be another kind of like <laughs> another little Christmassy vlog. I think we're gonna start decorating tomorrow. So I just want to get this started and y'all can look forward to some more fun Christmas content. I think I probably put up two Christmas vlogs already. So this will be number three. If you wanna see Cole. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, what's going on? Did you see all the pins? They made a really loud noise. Cole has worn a bunch of his Christmas outfits already. He's been wearing his Christmas PJs. He's got his Christmas lights onesie with his little matching pants. You love going bowling, huh? Well, he obviously can't walk, so he can't bowl, but he likes to watch. But we're in this like VIP suite kind of situation because there's like leagues out in the regular areas. So we have all of these lanes to ourselves, and this whole entire like space is all ours, which is kind of cool. Um, so I need to go and switch my shoes out. Here's the outfit before I get changed. Just have my jeans, my sneaks, and then I did a little flannel with a tank, and then my cute little cropped vest from Amazon that I love. I don't know which. Typically do like an eight and a ten, but I gotta find ones that fit my fingers. That's too small. That's heavy. <laughs> That's not your standard ball, Holly. I ain't like no ball you've ever played with before. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> he literally got a strike. He hasn't gotten a strike in like months. And now he gets it on his first one. What the heck? Hey Cole, can you clap, clap, clap? Yay! Go dad! So Ken hit a new personal record. Uh, by, one one, point, by one point, and I missed a personal record by, I guess, two points, technically, but he was one point over, and I was one point under. Before we do this activity, can we take a moment? <laughs> Look at how cute. I got this outfit last year. It was, like, on clearance at H&M, and it came with this little hat, and then this little shirt. It's got, like, the beard and the belt, and then it came with the pants, too. I got it in a 2T, so it's definitely, like, a little bit big not like huge a little bit long but it honestly fits so well no 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 don't eat it honey don't eat it that's a crayon look how stinking cute i cannot handle it of course we have hallmark on in the background i have got my christmas t-shirt and flannel okay are you ready last time we colored it didn't really go so well you didn't really understand. Look, you try. Oh, <gasps> good job, Cole. You did it. <gasps> oh no, no, no. Yeah, I'm glad you realized that it was not delicious. We can color though. Look, try to color. Yeah, you can't eat it. I know, I'm sorry. What the What's the matter? You two. Look, you can write your name. C. Good. Whoa. Good job. Yay. You did it. 
Want the blue? Ah ah ah! No eating. We don't eat crayons, silly. All right, so he kind of got it, but didn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Get the Kit Kat, cool. Get him. Someone woke up in not a very good mood. So we're gonna play with our toys. Lily, what did you do with the farm? The barn? Where did you put it? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, good job. Oh my gosh, you knew. Wow, cool. Oh my goodness. I didn't know he knew how to find exactly where it goes. Hey, can you do this one? I didn't know he knew where it went and how to put it in like the exact slot. Cool, he put the cow in. Can you do it again? Moo yeah, moo, yeah. Can you put it in? In the slot? It goes right here. Go ahead, put it in. Oh. Okay, do you want to do your animal sounds? Cool. What does a cow say? Moo. Moo. Okay, good. What does a duck say? Uh, cool. What does a horse say? Yeah. Nay. Okay. What does a sheep say? Ba. Ba. What does a duck say? Quack quack. And what does a cat say? Cat. Meow. Yeah. Good job. Wanna have lunch soon? Cute baby. <laughs> Alright, now he's in better spirits now that he's got his toys. His little Santa outfit, I can't. I just got changed into um, one of my Christmas sweatshirts and Christmas PJ pants. And I actually wanted to show y'all something that I'm so excited about <laughs> while he plays. Look at you go. He's so funny with his little figurines. He likes for them to be like standing upright, like not falling over. Like he understands that they're supposed to be kind of on their feet. And... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good job. Um, but I got this new like wallet slash crossbody in from I'm not 100 percent sure how to say this brand, y'all. They make the nicest stuff. They actually sent this to me. This is not sponsored or anything like that, but I could not wait to share this with y'all. I just got it in last night and I was like dying. Oh, dang it. But this is very much like a luxury leather brand. They have obviously all yay, cool. Good job. They obviously have all different kinds of like wallets and bags and different accessories and stuff like that. But this is like real, like real leather. Like it smells so legit. So obviously these are like slightly more pricey pieces, but I know a lot of people prefer to get things that are, you know, real and like nicer quality, especially for their like accessories and their bags and things like that. Cause they just hold up a lot better. And I've never had like a real, real leather wallet, but this is so freaking nice. I am so, so impressed. And I actually have a discount code for real. I was just double checking and I have a 15% off discount code, which is really, really good to obviously get something like super super high quality so for the holidays and things like that if you wanted to gift anything really really nice or honestly just like, like treat yourself to something a little bit more luxury this would be such a good option they have like I said so many hi did you want to see it <laughs> your nose running again oh no maybe that's why he was so cranky his nose has been fine for like a couple days is your nose getting runny Oh no. Y'all, this is so nice. I already shared it on my Instagram. Of course, I will link it down below along with the discount code, but I love, they have so many different colors, but I picked this like really pretty kind of like camel color and I love the hardware on it and it has actually, which is one of my like favorite features of any like bag or wallet when it has a little like outer pocket so you can slip your phone or just like anything that you grab really often, like maybe one of your credit cards or something like that, that you just need to have handy, your keys, something like that. I love having an outer pocket and I can fit my phone right in there which is really really nice and you probably could see there's like the cutest cutest pattern in <laughs> this wallet so like I said it's a wallet but it's also a crossbody it has little um, d-rings right here to hook the strap but when you open it up the reason I chose this one especially is because it has a ton of 
credit card slots which I have like a million cards so I love that I love how the brand is embossed there and then it says carry forward right here and it's just like it feels honestly so nice got like that nice kind of flexible sort of feel to it and it has like a little slot behind the credit card area which again has that super cute print inside of it and then it does come with the like crossbody strap kind of tucked in here so you can attach it and like wear this on you if you don't want to use it as a wallet but you could totally use it as like a clutch as well but it has a ton of pockets which is why i feel like this would make a good like purse as well as a wallet because it has a little slip pocket back here <laughs> it has a zipper pocket another zipper pocket in the center here so again if you need to keep anything like really secure you have two zipper options and then a pouch in front and like another pouch hi in front of that so it has like two just kind of like slip in pockets the zipper and then another slip in pocket behind it so there's like four little storage areas here plus this one and then the zipper one on the back so i feel like there's a lot of good storage and it's a really good width too like you saw like my phone obviously fits and this is a 13 pro so it's a very <laughs> a very big phone of course you can slip it inside here as well like in that back area and it still like closes up so that's what i'm saying it can be a perfect little clutch especially because it does magnetize so that helps keep everything a little more secure but how nice is this it gives you some care instructions there i just think the quality on this is so so nice it just it looks it truly feels very luxe and high-end and you can just tell like, this is something that's just gonna kind of get like softer and nicer over time and i really like my wallets to be kind of like this texture where it's not super structured so that it doesn't like it's not too stiff you can easily kind of like, shove it in the diaper bag or things like that if you're running around with your little one like i always am i just think it's such a nice size and i love there's so many pretty colors like some really pretty kind of unique colors but i thought this would kind of go with every Thing, very like fall and winter sort of vibes i feel like it just has some really good storage capacity like it can kind of expand a bit and i love that it has zippers everywhere so i feel like i'm going to kind of treat this like a wallet but also kind of like a purse because it does have so much storage and it has a strap oh but one of the coolest features is it has this like retractable little wristlet too how cool is that so again if you kind of don't want to use it as a bag more like a wallet you can also just like pull this out when you're running into the store and just throw it over your wrist to make sure you don't obviously like lose track of it but then if you're not using that it literally just like slips right back into the center of the bag how cool is that? I love that it's like totally out of the way, but then super easy to grab. You don't have to like clip it or like take it entirely off when you're not using it. I think that's like the coolest, like most innovative. I've never seen any other like wallet or clutch have that feature. I think that's the smartest thing ever. Like that's honestly one of the big selling points on this for me. Um, but also all the other bags have like a different little um, like print on the inside too which is also what made it hard to decide like what color to get because all of the prints were so unique and different and so 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 cute so anyway i had to mention this like i said this is not sponsored or anything they just sent this over and i do have a coupon code if you guys want to take advantage and get something really nice like i said oh what happened to your hat you took your hat off Hey stinker, you got hot hair now. <laughs> so anyway, I did want to mention this and then mention the um, coupon code. So if y'all want to gift something really, really like luxe and extra special for the holidays or just treat yourself to something really nice, this is amazing and they have a really really cool collection so i'm so excited to have received that i'm gonna literally like move all my cards and like my id and stuff into this literally right now i'm gonna switch into this and this is gonna be my current like wallet purse sort of thing since i always have the diaper bag with me i typically just keep something smaller with literally just like my phone hand sanitizer <laughs> credit cards like i like to keep the bare minimum with me since i have the giant diaper bag with like all the other stuff so this is going to be the perfect size for me and i like that it's like pretty simple so i feel like it can be casual like you can just carry this with you know what i'm wearing today essentially or you could like bring this you know to dinner like on date nights with a little bit of like a nicer outfit and it would go with that too it's very versatile so anyway I want to share that with y'all. Like I said, it will be linked down below. But we are going to go have some lunch. We need to get all of the Christmas decorations out. And I'm actually going to do a little Christmas decor haul. I showed a few of the things in a previous vlog. I think it was two vlogs ago. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to see that. But I'm going to show you like everything again here. Even though 
you might have seen a couple of the things in the previous vlog now that I kind of have everything together I'm just gonna do kind of one big sort of like collective Christmas decor haul and then I'll try to link whatever I can from that and then we're gonna get to decorating which I'm so excited we're gonna do our like traditional kind of little charcuterie board we typically will have eggnog but Ken and I cannot like finish a whole thing of eggnog so we kind of like skipped on that for this year, but I feel like next year when we have kids that can help us drink it We'll get back to our full tradition, but I'm so excited I feel like it's finally gonna feel like like truly like Christmas I'm already in the spirit, but like once you decorate you know how it is. It's just it's truly Christmas then <laughs> I kind of taught him how to play like wall ball where you like you know throw the ball at the wall and it rolls back to you And you keep doing it and now whenever he has the ball do you want me to do it? He always goes over to the door and like throws it <laughs> He doesn't totally get it, but he likes the idea of it. Do we need to fix your hair? Look at your hair well, You've got hat hair. He also got a pretty sizable bruise right on his eye there on his like eyelid <gasps> Poor guy You want bon bon? <laughs> yeah A bon bon You got put bon bon back in the quib Okay bon bon go back to now. Nah night bon 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 taking a nap. Is Bon Bon taking a nap? Oh, oh, boing. <laughs> I feel like this is how we spend half of our time, just like all of us on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> waiting to see what Cole's gonna get into. And how he's gonna destroy the place with whatever he can reach. <laughs> all right, we've got little man in here. And Ken is working on getting all the ornaments, or, well, ornaments, yeah, but all the decorations brought downstairs. We just have, like, bins everywhere in here, but I wanted to show you all some of the decor that I got. Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Those are your Christmas slippers. So what time are we now? Well, that's a team effort. Oh, wow, yeah. All right, so really quick, I just realized that they're... Or two of these in here, but I definitely did not order two, I don't think. So I might um, bring one of these back or something. But I got these like snow blankets, which I thought might be pretty for like on top of the cabinets and stuff. We'll see. That could look really good or I feel like it could look kind of tacky. So we'll see about those. I got this. Those are from Target, obviously. Um, this is also from Target. This was only like $5 too. And they have a bunch of different colors in like this big... Reindeer so again, I don't really know where a lot of this stuff is gonna live I just kind of like want to like I've mentioned before I plan on definitely Getting rid of some of our decor but like I'm just not like our wreath I don't know if I'm gonna keep that anymore or if I might <laughs> I might just want to kind of like switch Either some things out as in like not just like not use them this year um, But also like I'm kind of thinking if I'm not wanting to use them this year It's probably because I just don't like that decor anymore um and a lot of the stuff we've had since like our apartment like five six years ago and a lot of it's just like not my style or it's cheap or it's old or it's like not in good condition anymore or whatever and i just want to you know i feel like a lot of people do this with their holiday decor you just use some things for a certain number of years and then you know you just either don't like it anymore or it just doesn't fit your style so you just kind of want to refresh it and that's kind of what i'm doing this year just kind of wanting to play with things a little bit so i just grabbed stuff that i liked that like i kind of caught my eye and then i'm gonna find a home for it hopefully obviously i can return things if not and then i'm gonna either get rid of or donate or whatever some of the things that i'm not using my sister just bought a house so maybe she, she hasn't moved yet but maybe she'll want some of the decor that i don't want anymore which I'm, we're actually seeing her this weekend so it might be perfect if there's anything i determine like just isn't working for us anymore i can always give that to her this weekend but anyway like i was showing y'all um i got a couple wreaths i got this like tiny one for just don't mind cool i got this little tiny one for like our drop center i think to hang off the hooks i also have one from last year that i might put somewhere else like on a kind of hook situation so i love that one and i like this one however i feel like reeves are like so expensive this is definitely a more affordable one from target and i think it's pretty the only problem is our door we have like a like a storm door like a glass door in front of our real door my, our front door closes into another door and this might be too thick to close like I feel like with these pine cones and like the ornaments and stuff I don't actually know or think this is gonna actually like fit so I'm not sure if this is gonna work but I like this I feel like it's really festive and pretty 
and this was like fairly affordable too I love it. I'll link what I can by the way and then over here It's just like some random stuff. I've literally just been like throwing stuff in these boxes Are you having fun? Just you and your golf ball? <laughs> um, this is some of the stuff that I showed previously. I got this little pillow, which I feel like this could be obviously like for a chair or like the couch, but I feel like it could also just be kind of cute decor because it's like fairly small. Um, these are the little snowflake uh, window decals, which I think that was in the last vlog, the vlog right before this, so I will link that. Ken is really good with this kind of stuff, so he did these on the windows and it looks so, so cute. And then at the Target dollar spot, I got this little um, riser, which I think is just, it looks really nice. And then the dollar spot has all these like cute little like tiered ceramic little trees. So I picked up three of them. I don't know if I'm gonna like put them together like this, but I bought them all at the same time, so that's sort of the vision that I had with those and then um, I showed some of this stuff in the Marshall's haul video that I did but this is like a little countdown little like gnome it sits up like that and it has the little like countdown blocks that are attached which I think that's cute and I feel like as Cole gets older this could be a fun thing like every morning for him to come and like switch the block around I also got this um, from home goods for maybe the mantle or something this gave me like hallmark sort of vibes this is from target um it's kind of like a centerpiece i think that's what they call it table swag so i feel like this could go you know on like a table or the cabinets or something kind of simple but really really pretty and then this was also <laughs> from marshall's and i really like this it kind of has like a <laughs> are you okay <laughs> it kind of has like a tree branch like sort of vase and then um just like some eucalyptus and berries and pine cones and things like that y'all by the way this room is usually completely empty <laughs> like there's nothing in this room besides that little cube thing but we have all of the bins out right now <laughs> to figure out what is gonna go where so like i feel like this room looks very hectic but usually there's not a single thing in here besides that piece of furniture so it's feeling very like cluttered <laughs> in here at the moment um and then last couple of things oh i got a bunch of new yard flags like those garden flags for this year off of amazon so this is like, a little christmas one with some trees on it i'll have to open these up and show y'all um a santa one and then this one says like have a holly jolly christmas i thought those were cute we have two different yard or like garden flags so i figured i would get a couple and then switch them out or whatever this is the rug i also showed this in my little marshall's haul a couple of vlogs ago this is like a super super big rug oh you can't reach it do you need help you need help please help yeah there you go you gotta fix your pants man uh oh be careful yeah be careful he's so good at playing by himself i swear it's the best thing ever but so anyway this is from marshall's and we've never had like an indoor christmas rug we just have the ones for like outside on the porch so this is gonna be so cute on the inside and so festive and it's like ginormous but it's really cute and like simple. And then last time I was at Target, I picked up a couple more things. I'm kind of excited to play around with this. It's like a garland, but it can also be a wreath. So you can leave it like this or you can unravel it and like use it, you know, as a garland kind of situation. So I thought it might be cute like on like almost like a centerpiece and then maybe putting like, not maybe that, but like something to that effect sort of in the middle. I thought that could be kind of like a cute sort of idea. So I'm not sure exactly if how that's gonna work out, but I thought that was kind of fun. That was from the dollar spot. I also got these. It's like a dollar in the dollar spot for Cole for us to do on the front door. And then I guess this is kind of more like what I had in mind. I got this little like tray set. There's like two, a smaller one and a bigger one. So you could obviously use them next to each other or you could put this smaller one on top of this one and do kind of like a tiered thing. I was thinking like it would be cute for decor, but also for in the future, like for decorations for any occasion. Like it's just white with like this really pretty dark wood. So you could like use this for any holiday or even just like regular decor, not during Christmas. So I snagged that and then I was thinking maybe I could put like that on there and then like I was saying like something in the middle. I don't know if that's what I wanna do, but that's sort of, the vision and then I snagged from the dollar spot. This is just like paper cutter. I think that's it. 
so <laughs> this guy's being very hectic over here so that's everything in terms of the new decor like i said i'm i still have to like play around with what is gonna go where but i'm very excited god you guys are in a very precarious like mounted situation i'm just really excited to have some new stuff i didn't really get anything new last year um mostly because he was literally like i don't even know at this time last year he was whatever two or three weeks old so like he was brand freaking new and the last thing i was about to do was go out and like go peruse for decor and i just like was not worried about getting new christmas decor i was in like the new mom zombie mode and do we do you need help do you need help I'm excited this year to switch things up. So here's the one garden flag. Like I said, those are from Amazon, so I can definitely link those up. I don't think I can link the dollar spot stuff. They took the bullseye playground off of target.com, which is kind of sad and weird. And then I got this one, which I thought was kind of like fun and like whimsical and like something different than just like text. I feel like a lot of times, like both of these other two flags are just text. So I kind of like that that one was more like an image. This one's kind of fun and cute and like maybe more kiddish a little bit with like, <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> with the font and kind of like the cute little, I don't know, like hand drawn looking kind of doodle trees. And it's also kind of neutral too, like with the brown, it's not like super in your face Christmassy. Like I feel like none of these are like too obnoxious. I don't know, I like it to be festive, but not too, you know, not too much. <gasps> Do you like the reindeer? Is that your reindeer? It is? Are you really curious about this box? Oh, whoops. There's not much in there. Yeah, it's not that fun in there. As long as you have your golf ball, you will be happy. I don't know if I've shown this on the vlog yet. Cole, say, I love you. <laughs> That's the best we're gonna get. Can you say, I love you? Daddy. Oh, thank you. You like that reindeer? Okay. All right, so that was your little um, Christmas decor haul. I am gonna take Cole out on a little walk. I washed my hair last night and then straightened it this morning, which I feel like it's been a while since I straightened my hair, but I'm kind of loving it. I, I typically will curl it a lot of the times, which I love having curls in, but there's just something about having like straight hair with like no product in it and it just being super clean that I really like and straight hair is just kind of easy to manage and style and stuff like that. So I'm very much enjoying <laughs> my clean straight hair. My hair's also getting like crazy long again. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I got like a fairly decent trim and now <laughs> It's getting really long and yes, he's gonna walk in his little Santa outfit. I'm gonna change out of my PJ pants All right, we got the Christmas music as you can hear we got the candle going we're all matching all the way down To our slippers that's it. Someone's not a very happy camper because of his teeth. His molars are killing him. He keeps reaching his hand like all the way into the back of his mouth. So this is like a throwback to last year because last year he was, like I said, like three weeks old. So we had him in the carrier while we decorated 
and now he's over a year old and we're just carrying him while we decorate so that he cannot be a sad baby. You just need mama. You need mama. Mama. <laughs> You like a meatball sub? Baba. Sub? <coughs> it's good. You like it? <laughs> right, well, you're a freaking hoot. It's a little ham. You can sing ham because he's a pig? He's just a big ham, man. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the littlest Anderson <laughs> now has his matching <laughs> jammies. <laughs> Ada. <laughs> Just like that. The last bag of frozen breast milk is emptied out of the freezer. Yeah, milk. -a. That's a wrap, that's it. <laughs> He's such a kick. I'm watching him drink water, it's like hilarious to me. You do it. You do it. <laughs> Cole, you do it. Why am I holding it for you? You have hands. Go ahead. <laughs> Look how it's like full. He doesn't even need to lift it back that far, but he just does. <laughs> no, throw it to me over here, silly. Uh, silly goose. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yay. Oh. Hey, y'all. Hello. It is the next, yes, it's the next day for sure. I'm going to probably be wrapping up this vlog today. Um, I'm going to, we're going to finish decorating probably the rest of the inside and then do the outside like over the next like two days over the weekend so i will include obviously like kind of some footage of like the rest of the decorations and then um i'll start a new vlog over the weekend at some point i feel like i'm just vlogging almost every day now which is obviously like work but it's kind of fun especially because i'm loving just like getting to document like all this different christmas stuff and i have so many things that i want to do and film this season but what i want to do now real quick cole is like just waking it up he slept for over two hours two hours and like 15 minutes which he doesn't typically do for his morning nap he's just waking up he's the kind of baby where you need to leave him and like let him wake up slowly for like five minutes before you go in there or else he's just cranky he like doesn't want to socialize until he's woken up for a couple of minutes but i wanted to show you all really quick some of the um since this is a little christmas vlog some of the christmas um like clothing pieces that i've gotten in i took all the, like my christmas kind of not like merch but my christmas just like clothes like my festive little like sweatshirts and stuff out from last year and like i don't like any of them <laughs> anymore i think i just got them a lot of them on amazon and they were just kind of like cheap and i don't know they're kind of like tacky looking i really honestly don't like them i don't even know why i bought them they're from like a year or two ago or two years at least at this point so i don't know i probably liked them at the time i have one that i love that says like it's hallmark 
movie season um, that I got from like a smaller kind of like shop but the rest of it honestly I want to get rid of so I showed um, this one in an Old Navy haul but I will show you all this real quick and of course I will link all of this but I got this one from Old Navy it's actually a men's I got an extra large this is what I was wearing yesterday before we put our PJs on and this one's just so cute kind of like retro looking and it's just like a really it's from Old Navy I think I said that it's just like a really cozy fleece and it's the same green as like the green in our PJs so it actually looks really cute paired with the PJ pants. I really like that one. It's super cozy. And then honestly, kind of like a similar green. This is also from Old Navy. The rest of this is from other places. But I got this little Christmas t-shirt that has Mickey on it, which I thought was so cute because Cole is like obsessed with Mickey right now. So I got him <laughs> the matching little t-shirt, which is just going to be so freaking cute. And I love that we can match. And so I was thinking y'all obviously saw our PJs that we wore yesterday. And I had that like Mary shirt layered underneath of it kind of like Ken had um I don't think I really showed his Ken also had like a little kind of like Santa shirt layered underneath so that you can wear the PJs kind of open so I was also thinking this because it's the same green as the PJs would look cute kind of layered under like the flannel with the PJs and then same for Cole he could wear this with the PJs and the top kind of open and then he and I could be matching. I'm excited for that. And then these two I actually got, um, this one is from Jane, which I actually ordered my like Halloween shirt from Jane. Like I said, I will link all of this, but they have a lot of really cute different like patterns and designs for kind of like cuter graphic holiday type stuff. And it's really, really affordable as well. So I got this t-shirt, which I thought was so adorable it's kind of like a doodle sort of vibe but it has just like the lights i like the leopard and the antlers and i just thought it was really cute i feel like it's kind of like cutesy but not like too cutesy like i feel like that's when it could start getting kind of like tacky and cheap looking and i love the like sand color shirt and i got this in a size medium so it would be a little bit oversized but not like gigantic i still want to be able to like wear it with you know pants and sweatpants also sorry it's so dark in this clip it's so rainy outside and i am just now realizing i probably <laughs> should have put the lights on but i only have like two more things to show y'all i just think this is super cute this next one i actually almost got this in a sweatshirt but i i'm glad i didn't and i'll tell y'all why but i got this on it's actually a comfort colors shirt which i'm obsessed with comfort colors if i can get something in a comfort colors i will pay like usually comfort colors is a little bit more expensive typically than like your standard just kind of like t-shirt material but i'm always willing to spend a little bit more for comfort colors just because it's so so much comfier and i just love the material i love how it holds up and the fit and all of that kind of stuff and i got this holly jolly mama little print on it which i think is so cute i love like the little berries and then this one is a little bit different than some other ones i've seen because it has like the checker print with sort of like the little sparkle details on it so i feel like this is very like festive but not like overly festive like it's got the pink and it's not like overly just like red and green in your face and i like the font too i feel like it's just kind of like i don't know a trendy cool you know sort of t-shirt but make it christmas kind of so cute and i haven't seen any with the check print at the bottom so i thought that made it a little bit more fun that'll be easy to style too because it's just like a giant t-shirt so because it's not a sweatshirt you can actually like layer with it and put a cardigan or a shacket or a flannel over top of it and kind of style it like more as like a t-shirt versus i feel like this is more like a kind of loungy pj shirt i feel like this i could kind of wear like with some denim or leggings and stuff and kind of style it a little bit differently so i love those two new t-shirts this one i just got from target i really feel like target has been slacking on their like selection for christmas like cute apparel like i really haven't seen anything festive and cute there at all except for this and the reason i like this i mean i like the font i think it's cute i like the little like hat over the s but what i like about this one is it's kind of like a cropped fit it's not like super cropped so nothing's gonna show but it's just like a little bit shorter it kind of hits like right you know near where your like leggings would hit or something so it's got like a little bit more of a boxy sort of like flowy sort of fit since it's cropped it's just kind of a little bit more of like a loose relaxed fit whereas all of the other sweatshirts and like shirts that i have are more just like oversized and kind of big and long so i like this one because it's a little bit different i like the gray it has just like a really soft fleece on the inside and it is super super comfy and these are really affordable from target it's like under 20 dollars. so those are the things that i have here to show you all but what i just placed an order for just this morning which i am so so excited about they have like a little bit of a sale going on so hopefully when y'all are seeing this if you want to get your hands on it you can but i've hauled some items from mountain movers before which is just like 
like a mom owned kind of like a smaller company and their graphics like everything on their website I love but their graphics are so so good and I've been on the hunt for I want more like Christmas sweatshirts but I feel like all the ones you get on Etsy are just like the Gildan just like really I don't know kind of like cheap just like fleece sweatshirts and I don't necessarily have a problem with that but I just feel like between some of the like fall sweatshirts that I've gotten and just some of like the sweatshirts I have in general I just kind of feel like I have so many of those sweatshirts and I just didn't want a bunch more of like the exact same sweatshirt they just have a different obviously like graphic imprinted on them and a lot of times just like the quality of those isn't great so I, I wanted another Christmas sweatshirt other than you know just this like Santa one and the old navy one with like kind of a cuter design but I didn't just want a million of like the same kind of like cheap sweatshirts so I was like looking and looking and I didn't find anything that like was gonna fit those requirements that I just said until Mountain Movers released their Christmas collection and I ordered I'll put a picture on the screen here I just ordered them so I don't obviously have to show y'all but I will link them down below I got their corded Christmas sweatshirt which I have um, like a couple corded crewnecks and I love that texture it's really cozy but also just a little bit more of an interesting texture like feel and just aesthetic than obviously just like your standard sweatshirt material and it has like a big smiley face on it with like Christmas trees on the eyes or something like that and it just says Merry Christmas super cute it's like an ivory color so it's very neutral and simple but the graphic is so cute and I'm excited that it's a different you know type of sweatshirt than just like your standard fleece and then I also ordered I believe it's comfort colors it's just like a red like a pretty like crimson not like a super bright red more of kind of like a burgundy sort of red and it just says Mary period in kind of like a typewriter sort of font so it's also again like kind of simple again not like super super obnoxious like in your face but also still very festive and because again it's like a comfort colors which like I said I'm obsessed with so excited for those I got a size large in both of those I think that's gonna be a really good size I always get large in um, comfort colors t-shirts I don't know if I said that that's like the perfect fit for me so I'm so excited about those they're definitely a little bit more pricey but I feel like for me it's definitely worth spending a little bit more to get a higher quality and just like better more interesting looking sweatshirt than just like your standard gray crew neck with just a different screen print on it and their um, products are like ink printed they're not screen printed so the design is like part of the sweatshirt it's not just like imprinted over top like a lot of these other items are so the quality is there um like I said I have other items from them and I just love their website in general so I will have all of this linked down below I'm so excited I literally like around this time of year all I will do is listen to Christmas music watch Hallmark and like wear Christmas clothes <laughs> like I'm so obsessed with Christmas that I just want to like soak myself into it as much as humanly possible while you can you know for like these two months of the year before it passes you by you have to wait a whole nother year for it to come around so I I get really excited to <laughs> just have all these things and wear them literally non-stop I just want to be festive at all times and like I said since I hate all of the other stuff that I have I was just thinking you know this year I'm gonna get rid of most of that stuff and then just kind of like start anew and just get like some new things that I like genuinely really really like that I know I'm gonna like for years to come and that way next year you know I don't have to open up the box and be like I hate all of this I wanted to just kind of take this year to like get a couple of things that I really really like and that I know are going to be good quality and that are like actually cute and I enjoy wearing and then I'll just have those going forward and it'll just kind of be like my standard stock of you know my fun Christmas apparel so anyway I'll have all of this linked down below I'm gonna go ahead and grab Cole we're gonna have some lunch and then I will insert the rest of the decor like decorating footage for y'all oh and really quick y'all need to see I show this on Instagram but I switched out my phone case <laughs> to my Christmas phone case which this was sent to me last year and how freaking cute cute and fun is this but it's also like a cute pink I love it I, I'll see if I can link it I honestly don't remember the brand if I can link it I definitely will but I'm obsessed if you don't have a Christmas phone case you need one it just it takes your whole Christmas experience to the next level I don't know if I mentioned yesterday when I was filming or if we like showed it at all yesterday I can't remember I filmed a little like reel so I can insert that here for y'all to see but these presents right here obviously not that decorative box over there but these big presents right here are just like cardboard obviously like shipping boxes and stuff that we put some free weights in and then obviously I just like wrapped them I did that this morning I was filming on my phone rather than vlogging so that's my bad but like I said I'll put the reel on the screen or I can link it or whatever. 
I am going to show you how to keep your kiddos or your pets or whatever away from your Christmas tree, but doing it in a much more like aesthetic manner than a big ugly baby gate. And it's literally free. You just need some old shipping boxes from your packages from Target like we did. And like anything you have that's heavy, you can use free weights, like books, like toys, sand, like bags of sand, anything like that. And just fill up the boxes, tape them shut. I use a couple different kinds of wrapping paper as you can see here just to kind of like make it a little cuter I only like covered the boxes like the visible part of the boxes so I didn't have to waste a ton of paper but literally just cover up the heavy boxes with some wrapping paper and that way your tree can be kind of protected these are heavy enough that Cole can't like push them he doesn't really like try to climb on them or anything so far thankfully and they actually look kind of cute rather than having like a big gate around your tree it's definitely in my opinion a lot cuter and it was really easy and affordable. And I literally just wrapped these all up and they're pretty heavy. Did we put 20 pounds in each one? Yeah, two 10 pounds. Yeah, two 10 pound plates. So it was a little bit annoying to wrap them because the plates were kind of shifting. You could obviously use like a million different things. You could use like bags of sand or honestly even like books like textbooks or even like kids books. Like I feel like books are super heavy. So you could use a lot of things, but it just, it kind of makes it hard to wrap them. But I finally wrapped them this morning. I used four different wrapping papers so that it would look pretty. But obviously the whole idea of this, if I haven't really said that, is kind of as a barrier for coal so that he obviously doesn't get under the tree or like mess with the tree itself or the ornaments or anything like that. We didn't really put any ornaments very low on the tree anyway, for obvious reasons. But I feel like this is perfect. Obviously you can like purchase those little like gates that can kind of bend but we don't have one of those and I didn't want to buy one just you know for this like two month period and then have to store it and not use it so I thought this was the coolest idea because obviously like it's way more aesthetic <laughs> like it's way better looking than a gate and it's so cute and then you could still like hide gifts behind it or whatever but this is also way cheaper I don't know how much those gates go for but this was literally basically free we just use the boxes that stuff ships in and then the weights we already had and then wrapping paper we already had so we didn't have to buy a single thing literally just took a little bit of time and creativity but I think it looks like so pretty like I think it looks festive like honestly even if you don't have kids maybe just like pets or honestly just want like a cute little kind of aesthetic for around the bottom of your tree I think it looks really cute anyway and then this is his box of Christmas books it's just like all totally full with like a million different Christmas books so I just decided to kind of like throw that on top of this big box just so it's out of the way i think again it like looks cute and then we can easily grab books out of it so yeah if you need um an idea you're probably seeing this a little bit after you put your tree up i assume depending when i'm getting these christmas vlogs up but if you need an idea for how to kind of like keep your kiddos or pets or whatever away from your tree this is a really kind of fun and cute but also very inexpensive way to do it but to be totally honest he hasn't shown any interest in the tree at all yet he hasn't Gone near it, so like, who knows? Also just be, if you can't reach it. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't even stood up on those boxes really. Like, he went over by it like once this morning and then hasn't cared about it again. So, I mean, he may never have even cared about the tree. We might not have even needed those, but I don't know. I kind of like how it looks anyway.
that late, but it feels late. We've actually had a long, um, really tough couple of days lately, but I'm going to do an update on that in the next vlog. So definitely make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned. I'll do like a whole entire update and then we'll obviously continue the Christmas holiday vlogs. We have the pictures with Santa tomorrow. So I'll probably um, start a new vlog and include that. I filmed a little bit of like a really quick kind of like try on haul, like really quick. Like I'm kind of trying to make it into um, sort of like a reels style where I sort of just like try on a bunch of things and kind of make it more of like kind of a shorter form in the vlog rather than like super long, like sit down haul style videos. Like not that I'm not going to do hauls anymore, but just um, when I have like a couple different pieces, a couple different retailers, I feel like it makes a little more sense to kind of like do it in a slightly different way. I kind of like the idea of sprinkling in um, like some kind of more kind of like truncated little like try on segments in the vlogs, if that makes sense. So I filmed that today, so that will be in the next vlog. So there's a lot of good like holiday fun vlog content coming your way. So definitely make sure you are subscribed so you can stay tuned for all of that. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog, seeing all of the decorating that we did. We're pretty much officially done with the inside. Um, we might put up our other tree potentially but we might wait until after thanksgiving because where we're thinking of putting it this year might kind of like interfere with thanksgiving festivities um but i'll keep you all posted on that of course in the vlogs and then we're going to decorate the outside tomorrow we didn't do that yet but the inside is officially decorated and that's it so i'm going to go ahead and a wrap up oh gosh, pick up your feet I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you will subscribe and stick around and I will just see y'all in our next video. Bye guys.